They were phenomenal. D Wade, Channing, Jetty, Kyle, and and uh, JG. They were they were everything to, to us winning this game. And you know, even though they had some miscues and things of that nature, they just came out and played. You know, with a lot of effort, a lot of a lot of energy, and uh, you know, got us back in the game. Um. Uh, listen, man, we got a, a lot of a lot of guys, and you know, obviously, you know, right at that point in time, you know, the five guys that was in, on the on the court weren't getting it done. So, you know, as the head coach, he had to make a change, and um, you know, we got to respect that. Well, I know you said this morning that it's just another game in the garden, but when you hear that crowd and kind of those emotions and things, is that is that fun? Is that more? Oh no, it's never another game in the garden. Never. This is the best basketball arena in in the world to play. So um, it's never just another game, and I'm always uh, happy to be a part of this and uh, be a part of this crowd. The crowd is amazing. You know, their fans are great, and uh, to be an opposing guy, you know, being able to perform on this stage is always uh, it's always a treat. LeBron, talk about your defense and KP in the post in the fourth quarter and how it predicated the defense overall. Yeah, the well, we had to get stops because we was down so many points, so we had to get stops, and, um, you know, just try to make it tough on them, you know, and, uh, you know, use my – my IQ, you know, knowing pros and cons of what guys like to do and just be solid and uh, not try to foul and put them on a free throw line. And I was able to get some good stops and we was able to get out and score. Kind of said, and I'm going to quote you, you can call yourself King Quinn. Yeah, I know I heard that. That's corny. He, he caught what? What does it say it again? You can call yourself King Quinn Princess if you're not going to pump Well, I'm the king, my wife is the queen, and my daughter is the princess. So we got all three covered. What happened with you and, and Ennis and Frank on that play there? Did you nothing. Make dinner reservations? Never that. Uh, you know, nothing. Nothing. I mean, we got the win. That's that's. I'm not about to. I'm not gonna get. Uh, I'm not gonna say that guy's name again. Anyways, next question, please. How did you enjoy the subway ride? It was cool, man. It's a lot quicker than being on the bus for 40 minutes. So we was able to take advantage of that, get back to the hotel, and get some rest because we knew we had a, a, a game tonight. What's your take on this Knicks team overall and the improvements they've made from last year to this year? So um, they're playing, uh, you know, some good basketball. Um, you know, I think, uh, you know, Jeff is, uh, you know, the coach. Jeff Hornacek is finally, you know, with the uh, <laughs> with the release of the old fella. Uh, he's finally allowed to put his implement hit what he wants to do on the team, and it's and it's showing this is very effective. Ron, do you know when Kyle flips that switch? Well, you only throw it to Kyle when he has someone on him. When he's wide open, he misses every dang on time. And it's, I told him, if, if I see him open, I'm going to start just running towards him and contest it. He makes shots, and, you know, that's what he does to us in practice when we're chasing him around. So, And that's why he's one of the greatest three-point shooters this league has ever seen. So happy to have him on our side. How do you know? Down in this building, does that mean more than just the um, it means a lot to our team right now, just the way we've been playing so far. And, um, you know, we've had games where we've let it slip away. You know, and it looked like at one point we was going to let it slip away tonight. But the, guy, the guys off the bench came in, was very resilient, you know, made some plays, cut the lead, you know, going into the fourth. And then when the guys that, uh, you know, was on the bench got back into the game, you know, we just try to keep the momentum going. So it's a good win for us. How do you not lose your... Cool. I mean, you weren't playing great. You had a bunch mm -hmm. of turnovers in that run, and you had yeah. altercation, and mm -hmm. guys, some guys maybe kind of check out there. And, mm -hmm. uh, you don't. How, how is that? There? Um, I don't know. I understand. Um, you know that every possession, you know, is, is key, and you know I definitely had some bad turnovers that it, you know allowed them to get out and get to that run. But I knew we had another half. Um, you know, didn't know I was going to get snatched like that early in the third, but I felt if I got back in, I could still make some plays to help our team win. And just trying to stay focused on the job at hand, and that's to, uh, you know, defend like I'm capable of and, and you know, get into the lane. And, you know, if you leave my shooters, those, I got a lot of trust in those guys. They're going to knock them down, and they did that. You had, a, you had an and one with 11 seconds left in the second quarter. Take, make it 51 38. Mm -hmm. Talking to your guys, was, was the message then that this isn't over? Uh, well, it's just being aggressive. You know, I think the message at that point was let's be aggressive again to the paint. We settled a lot for a lot of long-range threes um, in that second quarter, and we weren't making. And we got to be able to mix it up at times and get into the paint. Uh, and even if we get some driving kicks, you know, um, you know, just being aggressive in the paint, 
and uh, you know we was able to turn it around.